Hi, good morning, folks. I'm gonna get the live stream started. Um, good morning, folks. Come on in, come on in. I've been told that I'm a scammer. <laughs> the internet tells me that I am a scammer, that I have violated policies of scam on YouTube for running crawlers saying that I want to spread love to the planet. And I think that's funny because uh, they allow McDonald's and they allow Google and they allow Amazon and they allow everyone else to sell as much as they want to. But yet the moment that I go to sell my own small town version of love, it becomes a point of contention. Um, so just be mindful um, for those of you who are light workers that when you're trying to put yourself out into the world and when you're trying to manifest a dream for yourself, people will flag you as spam. They will attempt to shut down your email list. They will do all sorts of things um, to disempower you. But my whole brand is anchored around the empowerment of people of all walks. Uh, I have told you all that I wanted a love revival to launch out of Lexington, North Carolina. And we found a venue that is amicable to that love uh, and wants to produce more love in the form of sleepwear and sexual toys and a liberating experience for all people. We're going to be over there today at around 2, 2.30, lifting a song of worship in the street for about an hour or so. hope that you can join us. The only message that I share with people, uh, and it's a very simple message to start, is that you are all loved and lovable. It's not the brine. If you were a pickle, um, and we're all pickles of life, picking up on thought forms and ideas and beliefs moment by moment. But if you were a pickle, my question for you is what brine are you sitting in? Yesterday, Poppy Water and I had the opportunity to go out over to a diner or like a restaurant of sorts, whose name I can't recall. Village Grill. Village Grill. And we have the wonderful fried pickles that they have there. In order for a pickle to become a pickle, uh, pickles are just simply cucumbers until they are steeped in some kind of divine brine. And so the question that I want to ask you today, as I got flagged and taken down and my content removed from YouTube, even for spam, I guess saying that you want coffee and saying that you need support and saying that you're building a love revival is spammy to the powers that be. But what kind of brine, if you were a pickle, what kind of brine are you steeping yourself in today? Are you surrounded by negativity in your community? Are you surrounded by thoughts of lack, um, lack of gratitude? What is coming up for you in your divine brine? Now, I have a lot of people around me. I have lots of friends on the internet. I'm followed by thousands of people. Yet no one really wants to do the work of settling themselves into the divine brine of life. Um, it, it can be very, very difficult for people to embrace their divine brine experience. Um, so anyway, whatever you're going through today, I hope that you're mindful of what brine you are cooking in. Whether you are looking for the happiness of life or if you're looking for things that'll make you sad and depressed. Wherever you are, find a glass of water. I drink my water and mind my business. is a point of extreme peace for me, okay? 
no other help I know than to drink my water and mind my business. All right. Are you ready for your daily dose of affirmations? Remember, affirmations are positive words that we use to program our self-conscious into deeper levels of self-love. Therefore, we're able to self-manifest. I guarantee you that if you're not seeing the external expression of the things you say you want in life, it's directly coming from whatever stinking thinking you have in your head. Now, I can speak to this with extreme power and conviction because I was a product or I've lived as a product for the last, I don't know, 18 months out of my stinking thinking. What is he talking about? Well, I didn't want to cross the tracks in town because on some level, I was afraid of what the townspeople would be like. It has since been revealed that there are some scary people in town, but there are also a lot of light-filled people in town. And people are always watching to see what you're vibrating at, what frequency you're vibrating on, what's coming out of the abundance of your heart. Remember, it says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so I'm always listening to the things people say to see what is abundant in their hearts. People, in fact, don't come and sit by me in high school of life a lot because if you're by me and I'm a quiet person in real life, usually everyone around me is speaking more than I am. I can say about 85% of the time, uh, unless I'm on stage and doing something that's a, that, you know, that's tied to my service, most days, people around me are talking more than I am. And so what I get from that is the ability to hear what's in the abundance of their heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's what was so powerful about meeting my partner and meeting my patroness here and meeting so many friends and donors on Clubhouse. On Clubhouse, you don't have, um, uh, you don't have visuals. And so you really get the opportunity to, in a concentrated way, listen to what is actually on the hearts of people. And if you listen more than speak in life, and this is for anybody who's passing through, if you listen more than you speak today, spirit is going to say something to you that is going to change your life. So if you've ever met me and been awkwardly uncomfortable around me when I just stop talking altogether, it's because I'm listening for what's coming out of the abundance of the hearts of the people I'm surrounded by. If you pay attention, they'll tell you what's important to them. They'll tell you what they're willing and not willing to do. Um, they will express fully what's going on. Okay? So you don't need to worry about whether or not you're being seen or heard you're so loud and so brilliant and so magnificent, no one could even stand in the way of that. You don't even have to say anything to take up space in the world. You just have, you just have to be simply willing. We're gonna go through our daily affirmations. I speak these every day online. You know, you never know what someone's going through. I go into this work every day for the 800,000 people who don't want to be alive this year. If we do the math, that's going to be 2,191 people who will kill themselves by the end of the day. Now, I can't attract a crowd around this message, but yet 2,191 people will die today in our country and 800,000 will perish by the end of the year for what I think 
is unnecessary causes. Not a heart attack, not cancer, not a car accident, not anything that's an accident, but intentional self-harm because they don't feel loved and lovable. And so in my own little way, like I said, people will come in and kind of look at the stream. YouTube will take it down as spam and suspicious activity. Bigo, all the time, is calling my live streams suspicious activity. There is no suspicious activity, beloveds. It's simply wanting to remind the world that they are loved and lovable. And so, like I say in the bottom of this screen, what good is your love if it ain't poured out? And I'm not saying that it needs to be poured upon me, but some of you are pretending to be the people that you say you are. And we're going to get clear in the year of our Lord, 2023. The first time I say the affirmation, it's for your head. And the second time I say it, it's for your heart. And wherever you need it to be today is exactly where it should be and where it needs to be. Remember, affirmations and speaking of positive words over your heart changes your subconscious and makes you feel, because you are, more capable of accomplishing everything that you set forth to do. So today, on April 23rd, 2023, we affirm, I affirm, that I honor my truth. I honor my truth. I have everything that I need. I have everything that I need. I am enough. I am enough. I am grateful. I am grateful. I choose to go with the flow. I choose to go with the flow. I am confident. I am confident. I am present. I am present. I am supported. I am supported. I am worthy. I am worthy. I let go of what does not serve me. I let go of what does not serve me. I am strong. I am strong. I am patient. I am patient. I trust the process. I trust the process. I love myself. It's one of the hardest ones on the whole deck. I love myself. I am doing my best. I am doing my best. I respect my journey. I respect my journey. I choose to find happiness. I choose to find 
happiness. I am rich. I am rich. I am abundant. I am abundant. One more cycle for our heads and our hearts, and then we'll be off to the races of the day. Big day ahead, tons of meetings and people to connect with. Remember how you start your day and how you anchor your day is what will walk with you. You start your day in a divine brine of negativity and othering energy or enemy making energy. That will be what you flow towards. If you start your day in a positive vibration, that's also what you'll flow towards. And so instead of just doing this simply for myself, I'm opening it up to the community and to the world for the purposes of sharing love. All right, one more cycle and then we'll be off to the, our lives. I don't know what you have to do today or where you're planning to go, but hopefully you'll be a bit uplifted by the positivity. The first time I say the affirmation, it's for your head. The next time I say it, it's for your heart. Only you get to decide what's best for you. I honor my truth. I honor my truth. I have everything that I need. I have everything that I need. I am enough. I am am enough i am grateful i am grateful i choose to go with the flow i choose to go with the flow i am confident i am confident I am present. I am present. I am supported. I am supported. I am worthy. I am worthy. I let go of what does not serve me. I let go of what does not serve me. I am strong. I am strong. I am patient. I am patient. I trust the process. I trust the process. I love myself. I love myself. I am doing my best. I am doing my best. I respect my journey. I respect my journey. I choose to find happiness. I choose to find happiness. I am rich. I am rich. I am abundant. I am abundant. Feel free to let me know in the chat space or the comment section um, which of the affirmations you're holding on to today. You're going to put in your pocket, little poly pocket action. 
Remember, affirmations are not simply words, but they reprogram our subconscious mind into the things we really need to make it through life just for today. I know I'm a little late today. Um, I'm about maybe two and a half hours late to the party. Usually we do the daily dose of affirmations around 6 a.m. Eastern every day, depending on my coffee. But I really want to let the whole world know that beyond anything, if you can take the affirmation into your heart today that I am loved and lovable, that would be enough. You can ride the rest of your life simply on I am loved and lovable. So many people are going to have a bad day today. They're going to be very upset, agitated, fearful, and disturbed because they don't recognize down deep they're loved and lovable, and they don't hang out with people who are talking about this all the time. Remember, most people who come into my live streams are only here for a few seconds or a few minutes. I don't worry about this anymore because I know that they're going off into live into their lives, many of them with receipts, in a struggle at war with themselves. I encounter this. People who live feet away from me do not come into my lives for positive affirmations, yet they're moping all the time. Sad energy, sad faces. You know, very e or kind of energy. Um, but if I said to them, oh, you know, I haven't seen you. They'll, they'll, well, they'll say to me, I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you. Where have you been? Well, you know, I affirm positive affirmations every day over my life, and I never see you. What's up with that? And that's why no one sits next to me in the high school class of life. Because I ask real questions like that. Oh, I understand that you love me. I understand that you appreciate me. But why are we not praying together? Why are we not affirming together? Why are we not bearing witness to the great I am in all of us? So people will always be floating through kind of on the periphery and outskirts of my life. And I won't let them penetrate my heart space. And I surely won't let them be near me all of the time. The reason why I walk home and walk right in the house and don't even cross over is because I'm not trying to get in that divine brine. I'm trying to stay positively motivated towards the great I am inside me. I'm cool, I'm confident, I'm capable, more than enough. And I've never seen anything like it. If you wanna get people to stand in the front yard and talk about stringing up uh, an abuser by their heels, people wanna talk about that for hours on their lawns. Let's go and string him up. Let's go and get him. Let's go deeper in division energy. That they'll keep you. Oh, oh, can you believe she didn't want to take him to the hospital or go with him to the hospital? They will talk about that for hours. Ask, ask someone to come in and talk about I am confident. I am strong. I have everything that I need. I let go of what does not serve me. As my mother used to say, you can hear a rat piss on cotton. It gets very, very quiet and the viewership gets really, really low when there's no controversy. People strive and thrive on controversy. And that's sad. Not for me though, not anymore. I'm peaceful. I am capable. I'm fantastic. I'm abundant. I'm rich. I'm at home in myself. I am unbothered. <laughs> and because of that, sometimes they're like, why can't I tap into that flow, Dr. Flow? Why can't I feel that? I'm I get upset with you. I'm jealous of you. I'm I'm in pain. I'm envious of you. People tell me all the time that they're envious of me. Why would you be envious of me when for free I'm sitting on the internet 
telling you exactly what I use to have freedom in my life. This is not rocket science, people. We're intentionally making our lives difficult for naught. And all you have to do is just come and sit around. And this is not me begging you because I don't talk to anybody like that. It's getting better every day. I am getting better and better every day because I don't really have to talk to people. I talk to the benefactors in my life. I talk to the people who want to make a bag and be abundant. I talk to my clients. I talk to people for strategy meetings and phone calls, but everybody else in my life, you don't see me really talking to a bunch of people about nonsense. Um, because that's not what I came here to do. That's for you all who, who are addicted to the struggle. And it's a specific kind of struggle. I say this without sitting on top of a giant mound of money. But I, if I had to have this vibration that I'm in, rather than the money, take the money. There's tons of people that I encounter who have way more money in their bank accounts than I do, and they are very miserable people. Some of them are even abusers. You mean you have more money than me because you work all those hours and you still choose to abuse your community? Make it make sense. Maybe we should reduce some of those hours on that day job and then cultivate affirmations and our divine brine. But this is why no one wants to sit by me sometimes. But that's okay because the people who truly need the healing will give it a shot. They'll plug into the daily dose of affirmations and pick one that liberates their whole life. Remember, like I said yesterday, if one person affirmed I am loved and lovable all day or their lives for 30 days, they wouldn't even be the same person. This, I tell this story all the time. This reminds me of the lady who was in the tractor supply store with my sister, Nadia. We're in, uh, in Poppy Water. We're in the tractor supply store. We go to check out uh, the giant bag of dog food, and Nadia starts picking up the bag and turning it over so the lady could find the, 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 key piece, uh, the UPC code on it to scan. And she sees us standing there, and she goes, wow, you have two large men behind you and they're not even helping you. And I looked at her and I said, ma'am, I don't do toxic shame. She looked at me surprised. Well, I see you standing there and not helping. Ma'am, I don't do toxic shame. Once you start to liberate yourself from toxic shame and people's ability to put toxic shame on you in your life, and they've been doing, they've been doing it to us since we were kids, we're so used to living in a society and around family members and people that produce toxic shame and, and strangers. That lady was a stranger who wanted to put toxic shame on me. Ma'am, I don't do toxic shame. And then she tried it again. And then they got into a whole conversation around, oh, you're one of these people who uh, it's with the shits. And they got into the whole conversation and I removed myself physically and went and stood in the literal streets. I don't do toxic shame anymore. And I will just keep raising the flag of love for all of you who have ears to hear it. If you can dismantle and we'll be talking in these live streams about exactly what to toxic shame looks like. Toxic shame looks like racism and xenophobia and misogyny and the patriarchy. The patriarchy is full of toxic shame. We're going to name these things so we can heal these things. But you'd be surprised how many times I want you to start counting in your life, in your in your life or in your lives. If you know people come to watch. And this is not a popularity contest for me, folks. I'm popular to me. Remember the affirmation? I love myself. When you love yourself, you can sit with zero viewers and still do your assignment. When you truly love yourself. When you truly love yourself, it's not just words. Oh, yeah, you know, I got it. No. When you truly love yourself, because people are always watching, right? 
They always come back. I always get the analytics. You always come back later. You don't watch it in the moment because you don't want to be the only person in my live stream watching me. So instead of standing on the mountaintop of your own life experience and being the only person to watch me, you leave very, very quickly because he couldn't, he certainly could not be talking about anything of value talking to himself. Mm. I am loved and lovable. And I engage people all day, every day now who don't see it for themselves. Some of them do. I would say about 5% of the people I encounter every day in the community, about 5% know that they're loved and lovable or are reaching towards understanding that they're loved and lovable. Most folks, doom and gloom especially you over 25 kinds of people. We were walking through town yesterday and I saw uh, a promotional flyer on the window and the programming only went up to 26. I said, oh, that's the age that they think people's dreams die in this town. <laughs> we will give uh, fun open mic nights and jam sessions to everyone that's a kid in youth group up till 26. But in this town, from everything I've seen in the windows, at 26, dreams die. <laughs> There's no hope for you here. After 26, have the pictures. But some of us recognize that life is for the living and that because we are loved and lovable, exactly as we are, there's so much more in the realm of infinite possibility for us if only we choose to accept it in our lives. And many are not choosing to accept it. They're watching other people live their dreams. It's above me now. I hope that you enjoyed today's affirmation session. I've got to go and cook some wonderful oatmeal and get ready for today's shows and outreach in the community. But you are loved and lovable. And if for the next 30 days, you really tapped into that simple phrase, I am loved and lovable. And every time someone tries to toxically shame you or put you in your place or make you feel bad, you simply remind them, I'm not doing the toxic shame thing anymore. That does not work on me anymore because I profoundly and deeply understand that I am loved and lovable. 30 days of being loved and lovable to yourself will change your whole life. You won't allow people to treat you any kind of way. You won't be stepped on. There'll be no disrespect in your world from anyone if you know that you're loved and lovable. It's very important. Any questions from the class? May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free of all suffering. And may love hold all of us in its big, 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 big hands today. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. When the affirmation sessions with everybody's free phone start being attended as much as the string the white man up by his laces ceremonies, then we'll be going somewhere. But while everybody's ducking and dodging and wanting, like Kevin wants me to come down to the end of the drive 
and ask him how he's doing while he's moping. You know, I'm saying your affirmations in the mirror. It's a vibe. You get it. Those that get it, get it. Those that don't. It's above me now. <laughs> you really lay off the water every day. It's like every morning to 